Hello, this is John Carlo, and in this video I'll be taking you through a lesson that I would have taught my grade 9 students on identifying the difference between a linear and a nonlinear relationship. Uh, in the previous uh, video, you would have seen me go through an investigation of how to identify linear versus nonlinear using a table of values. Uh, in this investigation, I'll show you what the next steps would be in terms of the second investigation on identifying uh, a linear versus nonlinear with a graph. I'll be making use of notebook software. I'll show you how I incorporate Sentio. And if, if it warrants, I will talk to how SmartSync, which is classroom management software, uh, can be used during this investigation. Now, what we've done uh, is we've already covered the first uh, investigation. And before I move on to the second one, what I'll do is I'll actually want to assess uh, my students understanding of that first investigation and the reason why I want to do that is because if they're still having difficulty with that first concept uh, it's it's important that I not go on to the, the next concept so what I have set up is a slide which has a quick assessment question and what the students will have to do is select all that represent uh, a linear relation so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start this uh, sent to you a question and see what the check for students understanding once I've given the students enough time to complete this task I'm going to stop the assessment and check the results and I can tell that majority of students uh, did fully understand this concept which means we're now ready to go on to uh, the next invest investigation which is identifying the difference between a linear and a nonlinear uh, by using a graph uh, again, what I can do is I can probe students uh, to check to see what they understand or what they uh, they might think would be a way of telling the difference between linear and nonlinear by looking at a graph. Uh, and then I would actually get into the investigation. Now, this particular investigation, I have uh, a variety of uh, relationships already graphed on the axis. And what I've done is I've created a button, and I'm going to invite students to come up to the board and drag these buttons over top of what they think are uh, linear or nonlinear uh, relations. <clears throat> and so students would come up uh, to the board and drag and drop these buttons. Uh, if I had an airliner in the class as well, just to speed up the process, I'd have students at the board as well as at their seats simultaneously uh, dragging and dropping. And as you can see, this page continues uh, and students continue dragging and dropping linear versus nonlinear and at the end we will create a summary of, of what we learned and in this case what I would do uh, is I would make use of that file that I've given the students either as a handout or if they have a computer uh, and I invite them to type in what they think uh, is a method for identifying a linear versus nonlinear by using a graph and then I'd reveal my teachers notes and have them uh, compare their notes uh, now again what I would do at this point uh, is I would probably want to assess the students to check for their understanding uh, and as I did last time I have a pre-made slide uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and start an assessment and have students identify uh, which ones they think are linear and nonlinear Now I noticed that uh, this question had already been started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the results and start this one again. So let's start this question again and let's wait for students to respond. And once I have given students enough time to complete, I'll stop this question, take a look at the results, and it's clear that all students understood this concept, which means we are now ready for the third part of the investigation. So just to recap, uh, we started uh, we started, and once you've completed it, before moving on to the next one, I checked for understanding using Sentio. Uh, once I knew that students understood the concept, I moved on to ident the second investigation, which was identifying the graph, and I checked for students' understanding. And now that I've checked that all students understood this concept, I now prepared for the last investigation, which is the uh, fourth part in this uh, four-part video.